Todd, the only thing we see on this dogberry tree is a set of Christmas lights. Is that to make up for the lack of uh, dogberries? Uh, yeah, this year was uh, rather poor production in dogberries compared to previous years. Uh, and our poor tree looks so empty, we figured we'll put some Christmas lights on it to make it look pretty. <laughs> so definitely an early start to the Christmas. So tree. yeah, so we're getting geared up already now for our Red Merry and Bright Festival. Tell me what you're noticing. You, know, you said there's a lack of dogberries, but why is that? Okay, so last year, you might recall, it's like the hillsides were just orange. There were so many dogberries. It was a bumper crop year. Um, this year, on the other hand, you know, individual trees, I will have a few berries here and there, but compared to last year, it's actually quite abysmal compared to, to what it was before, previous. Do you know why that is? Why one year there's an abundance and the next year there's none? So it varies from year to year with the dogberries as to how well they're going to produce their, their berries. And it really gives you an information about the previous growing season more so than what's going to happen in the coming winter. So what happens if you have a really good summer, then the, bear, the trees will set lots of flower buds for the following year. So then the following year you'll get lots of flowers, but then in uh, June when they're blooming, if we're not having good weather, nice sunny dry weather, um, then the pollinators are not going around to do their thing. Then if there's no pollinators, you're not going to get any berries. If, so even if you have lots of fruit or lots of flowers, sorry, you're still not going to get very much fruit if the weather is poor when the pollinators are going around. So that basically tells us that last year that's exactly what happened. Yes, yeah, so last year it was the previous summer to that was a bumper summer, really good weather lots of seed or flower buds set on the, on the trees. Then last spring, um, the previous spring, we had lots of good weather, lots of pollinators, bumper crop of berries. This year, on the other hand, the trees are sort of taking a bit of a breather because they had a, such a good crop last year. They don't really need to produce a lot of berries this year. And then what few berries or flowers they did produce, the weather in June was probably not suitable for the pollinators to be as active as what they normally would be. And therefore, the, we're seeing the end result now with not a lot of berries on the trees. So if the berries reflect the weather for the year before, what do you think this is to say about folklore and where that came about? The old adage, you know, if you have a lot of dog berries, it's going to be a hard winter. And that's basically Mother Nature's way of providing food for any of the overwintering wax wings or overwintering robins that decide to stay here for the winter. You know, okay, well, we're going to have a hard winter, we'll produce lots of berries. On the other hand, if there's not a lot of berries, it's going to be an easy winter, okay? so the birds can probably find food sources elsewhere. Okay, that has not worked this year. It didn't work last year. Last year there were robins everywhere because there was lots of food. That's really what it comes down to. It all comes down to groceries. So if there's a lot of berries around, the, berries are going, the birds will stick around. This year, not a lot of berries, not a lot of birds. A lot of the robins have hightailed it out of here. They know something probably that we don't know. <laughs> if the berries in the fruit trees reflect the weather of the year before, how do you think it came to be that people use the dogberries to predict the winter? Again, you know, Newfoundlanders have quirky little folklore things that they come up with. And uh, so I suspect a lot of it, it probably stems down, you know, to basically, I suppose, almost like thinking, you know, well, God created, you know, is going to care for the birds, going to care for, to get them through the winter. And as a result, you know, it, it was through God's intervention that we end up getting a good crop year versus a poor crop year. Um, you know, and it's just one of those things. I, I'm sure there's no, there's no science to it at all. And I wouldn't even say if you check back consistently, like I said, last year, tons of berries, one of the mildest winters we've had on record. This year, no berries. Are we gonna have a mild winter? Eh, sort of predictions sort of suggest we might have another winter like last year, but maybe we're gonna have tons of snow this winter. God only knows. <laughs> Which is likely. We've got warm waters. We have, you know, some of that Arctic air moving down. Guess this, we'll find out. Guess we're going to find out. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Todd. You're very welcome.